a teacher, classroom teacher of science in secondary school for just over 10 years. And I think probably as a scientist, I got interested in the evidence about teaching and learning. And I, I think quite early on, I was very curious as to why set five didn't get it. Um, I remember quite an early conversation with my head of department when I'd done everything with this particular, at that particular time, you, you were given three sets, top, middle and bottom, and to do in parallel. And I was doing it with the lower set. And we'd done the practical, whatever it was. So we'd done the theory, we'd done the revision. And the results were very poor. And I said to my head of department, um, you know, I've done everything, what have I done wrong? He said, oh, set five, never get that. And I remember, even to this day, that sort of feeling of, are you telling me all the way around the country, kids, we know, we're putting kids through an education process, which we actually know they're going to fail at, and we just accept it as a fact. It's the fact that people went, oh, they don't get it, um, which struck me. And then the endless initiatives from the government. I mean, I hadn't been in there very long, but people who've been teaching 30 years were describing how this is this constant flow of initiatives. Mm. And, you know, they're all packaged in shiny folders from the DFE with, with heavy grade paper. And it all seems like that it must be good. Yeah, yeah. But I remember one senior member of staff when he retired saying, um, that he'd chosen to retire there very slightly early. He said, when you've seen the same idea come round for th three times, you think it's probably time to change. Yeah. And uh, a very good physics teacher in my department retired on the basis that it was the next change to the curriculum. Yeah. He said, the ones in the 1990s, there was nothing wrong with them. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. So, so I got interested in the, in the evidence. Uh,